Hey everybody, Jackie schomburg Minden here. Uh, I'm continuing this mini-series on Tina Fey's Four Rules of Improv and how that relates and overlaps with art and the creative process. So this is my theory that the two overlap significantly, uh, at least in the art that I make. And I am very interested in this idea and I would love your feedback to see if, if it makes sense with you, if it resonates with you. I would love to hear how and why. Um, if you have anything to add to it, by all means, yes and me. <laughs> or if you don't believe it, tell me that. Tell me why it doesn't make sense. Um, I would be interested very much in that because I'm really seeing a lot of overlap, at least in my in my life, in my art. Okay, so the first three steps that I've talked about in previous videos were agree, yes and, and make statements instead of questions. The fourth step that I want to talk about today is there are no mistakes. So with improv, um, if someone comes out into a scene that's set at a DMV, for example, and someone makes this wild card, you know, quote, mistake and says, you know, oh, look at this pond. There are no ducks here. Why are there no ducks at the pond? After we've already established that we're at a DMV, whoops, right? That person did not agree that we're at the DMV. They had a brain cramp or something and they tried to push their own agenda of there's a pond. Okay, seems like a mistake, whoops. But what if someone else comes in and says, and who made a pond in the middle of the DMV? Or who built a DMV around the pond? That was a terrible architectural decision because this whole DMV smells like dead fish or mud, right? That, that now has brought things back to this new shared environment of a, a DMV with a pond inside of it. And the scene can go from there. It might end up a way better scene because now it's very complicated and there's something so outlandish that you have to respond to. Okay, so with art, uh, there are no mistakes. Okay, if you get drips of paint somewhere you didn't want to have drips of paint, you didn't notice it so you couldn't clean it up and now they're there and they're stuck. Okay. Maybe you add more drips and see what happens. Maybe you um, cover it over with collage and that gives you a different focal point than you had expected. There's a book, there's a children's book. It's kind of a children's book. I think of it as just a book called uh, Beautiful Oops. And it's all about different, you know, kind of artistic mistakes you can make and how you can turn them into something beautiful. So if you have a, a you know, a ring, a coffee ring stain from your coffee cup on paper, whoops. But what can you make that into? Can you make it into a frog shape? And now that's something fun. And it's this series of, you know, I don't want to say correcting your mistakes, but basically turning them into something beautiful. So find ways in your, your art that you can take something that was a mistake that you didn't mean to happen and turn it into something that's now a part of that piece because you can either throw your painting away and start over or you can change it into something that's very unique that even you didn't expect and plan and now it can be appreciated in a different way. Okay, so there are tons of things we can do. There are tons of things to save an improv scene. There are tons of things to um, make your art a little bit, push it a little bit farther, make it a little more daring, make it a little more interesting or a lot more interesting to somebody else, just like with an improv scene. Hope it was interesting for you guys to consider. I would love to hear your feedback. So send me a message, um, write a comment below, uh, follow me on Instagram, DM me there. I would love to know your thoughts on uh, these four improv rules, agree, yes and, make statements and there are no mistakes and how uh, I can apply them to my art. And I hope that you can also apply them to yours to make it more fun and more interesting. All right, everybody. See you next time.